Hello guys, this video will show you how to solve a very basic problem of having your inlaid details match up with your outer surface. But real quick guys, if you're looking for what I consider to be the best 3D modeling tutorial on the internet, I recommend checking out my Udemy course. It's got tutorials on Blender, 3ds Max, CAD programs such as Plasticity and Moai 3D, and a lot of ZBrush as well. So if you want to master a variety of programs to really bring your skills up to the next level and master 3ds Max, Blender, ZBrush, and Plasticity, be sure to check out that course. Link is in the description. Let's continue. So let's say that I will give this like a, like a bluish color. All right. And then let's say that I just select some polygons here. Right, maybe something like that. All right. Let's make it a little bit more fancy. I'm going to hold control to convert to vertex. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and activate under freeform shift and let's go with face constraints. So I'm going to do this just to make this just to spice this up a little bit more. Just have a little bit of a roundness right here. All right, so a little bit, a little bit of a spice right there, right? And uh, let's add a little bit of spice right here as well. All right, so we've got that. And so the problem is that if I just, you know, bevel this or extrude inwards, right? And then how do we have an inset object? Well, we'll go ahead and we detach this clone, right? We select the new object and we go ahead and give this a different object color and we apply shell. All right. And so we just kind of uh, increase the outer amount until it matches up. But you notice what the problem is, is that even though theoretically it seems like it should match up, you notice like here it's it's not showing up here it's too far away here it's clipping through and it's just kind of distorted all over the place here so you know you may have to use you know snap to fix up these areas so you may be wondering how can you have this with it being perfect without all of this kind of like unevenness happening here well that's what i'll show how to do so before we extrude we're going to simply uh detach this as a clone Actually, let's go ahead and just enter in a random assortment of letters here to save the selection. All right, so we're going to detach one of these as clone, and that kind of clears our selection. So we're going to go ahead and reselect that. And now we're going to extrude this inwards, and we're going to detach that as a clone as well. All right, we're going to select this, deselect that, change the object color. Right, and simply what we want to do is select this and flip the faces here and now attach this one select two random edges corresponding and bridge them go into the border level select this deselect these two edges and bridge and when we look at the result now you will notice it's a completely perfect match all right guys so hope this helps you to get perfect uh, details here. Thank you for watching and take care.